So I'm getting a lot of questions about late flowering Venus flytraps and what to do. So at this time of year where it's almost Halloween, you're actually gonna wanna pinch back flowers that are showing up on your Venus flytraps. Chances are that your other Venus flytraps aren't all blooming, probably just maybe one is blooming if anybody is. And this plant is a great example of that. So if you look, see the rest of my collection, nobody's flowering, but this guy is. Now this plant has really died back for dormancy. As you can see, many of the traps have died back and really what we have left are smaller, lower growing rosettes. And yet it's really growing a lot of flowers. So I'm gonna cut all of these back, but I left them on so you could see them. You can just cut yours back as well, totally safely. The only time that this is a sign that something is wrong is if you're growing your plants in low light. So remember, Venus flytraps prefer to be grown outdoors if possible or in full sun indoors. And usually you're gonna to wanna to provide that with a grow light. Oftentimes our windowsills just aren't quite sunny enough for them. So if you're seeing kind of weird looking traps that aren't closing properly or are kind of a weird color green or are just are not growing right and it's flowering, probably needs more light. But other than that, sometimes they just flower at this time of year and that's not a big deal. Just pinch those flowers back. 